Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the most common fabrics in the apparel and fashion industry. If you're already subscribed, please make sure to like this video and share it amongst people that you think might enjoy it. As well as if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. That will really help this channel grow. The first fabric we're going to discuss today is cotton. It's a 100% natural fiber and it comes from the cotton plant. It's also one of the most common fabrics that's used in the fashion industry. Cotton fabric is also an all-purpose and easy to use. Uh, they're soft, breathable, meaning that air can move uh, through them and the moisture can evaporate. It's easy to clean and it's washable. It's good for absorbing moisture and it's definitely very versatile. It's suitable for children, people with sensitive skin and allergies. On the other hand, some of the um, cons of using uh, cotton would be that the dye doesn't hold up very well and it can fade over time. It can also bleed while being washed and it tends to wrinkle a lot. It also can shrink in hot water, especially first time when using it. Cotton is such a versatile fabric that the application just has no boundaries. It can be used for blouses, dresses, skirts, for kids and infant wear, as well as the most common use of cotton is for the production of various other textile products. The proposed theme for the cotton fabric is a 5-thread overlock or safety switch. Next, we're going to move on to linen. Linen is made from uh, the flax plant and it is 100% natural fiber. Um, it's environmental friendly to grow. It also requires very less irrigation and little energy to process. The fabric itself can be really expensive and it's, it's really washable. When you compare it with cotton, it's quite resistant to stain, meaning that they can be washed out at a lower temperature uh, compared to cotton. Some of the properties of linen are that it's medium weight, high strength, water absorbent and very washable like we mentioned before. Um, it's also a very luxurious feeling fabric. The only negative side to this fabric uh, is that it's, it is very expensive. Linen is commonly used for shirts and home furnishing. The proposed seams for this fabric is a 5 thread overlock or safety switch. Moving on we have denim. Denim is one of the world's most iconic fabric which the moment you say word denim everybody around you knows what you're talking about. Um, denim fabric has been around um, since the 1950s and it hasn't gone out of style since then. It's mainly made out of 100% cotton yarn. Some of the properties of denim is that it's a light to heavy weight, um, it's breathable, it's durable and it's water absorbent. Some of the only disadvantages of a denim fabric is that it's warm and insulating which is always not a bad thing and it stretches out over time. Um, it's also a bit more harder to decorate and sew. Applications of denim. So lightweight denim is mainly used for making light jackets or shirt whereas medium to large weight denim is used for making jeans, shorts, dresses, caps, children clothes as well as heavy duty jackets. The proposed seam for denim is a 5 thread overlock or safety switch or you could use a flat felt seam for it. Moving on we have polyester. Polyester might look simple but it's actually somewhat of a chemistry project. Polyester is made out of synthetic fibers that are made from chemical reaction involving air, water and petroleum. This combination produces an artificial fiber that becomes amazingly polyester. The advantages of polyester are that it's flexible, quick drying, durable, comfortable as well as it's low cost material. Some of the disadvantages of polyester can be that it sticks to sweaty skin, it's sensitive to high temperature, it's not a very breathable fabric like cotton and it's usually not sustainable. Regardless of that, it's commonly used in active wear and sports wear, dresses and blouses. The purpose seam for polyester would be a 5 thread overlock or a safety switch. Let's talk about rayon. Rayon is manufactured fiber made from natural sources such as wood and architectural products that are regenerated as cellulose fiber. There are many types and grades of rayon can imitate the feel and texture of natural fibers such as silk, wool, cotton and linen. 
The positives are that it's inexpensive, it's known for its silk-like feel, drapes beautifully, it's breathable, very similar to cotton in that regard and it's ideal for seeking a luxurious look and feel at a more economic price. It also blends well with other fabrics, particularly woven ones. It dyes easily and produces a beautiful and vivid colour. The disadvantages of using this product is that it's prone to stretching and bagging and often doesn't recover. The fabric is also weak and even weaker when it's wet. It's also not recommended for home furnishing due to its stretch factor that we mentioned before. Regardless, rayon is made Regardless, rayon is used for blouses, dresses, skirts, shirts, and saris. The purpose seen for rayon is a single needle a lock stitch attaching and three thread overlock. Chiffon is a fabric originally made from silk, but in today's day and time, it's blended with polyester to make it at a lower cost. The characteristics of chiffon is that it's sheer, it feels rough, it stretches, it's strong and it's shimmery. The advantages of using chiffon is that it's a very lightweight fabric, it's highly breathable, it's got a sheer effect and it drapes really well. And that's one of the reasons why it's mainly used in saris, blouses, dresses and even skirts. The disadvantages of this fabric is that it's low in strength and that it can easily fray. The proposed seams for chiffon is that French seam to avoid fraying or a single needle lock stitch and a three thread overlock. Let's move on to Georgette. Georgette is a lightweight fabric and originally made from silk. Today it's blended with polyester and rayon to make it cost effective. If you're wondering what's the difference between chiffon and Georgette, chiffon is a very thinner and sheer product which drapes easily whereas Georgette is a thicker ply resulting in a heavier fabric although it's still sheer. Georgette is used in blouses, dresses, skirts, saris and garment accessory. The proposed seam for Georgette is a single needle lock stitch attachment and a three thread overlock. Next we have the Sheffley fabric, one of the fabrics which have been in trend for 2020. The Sheffley fabric is a design made from multi-needle Sheffley machine, mostly using a Greg fabric with 100% cotton thread, bleach, then dyed or it's printed on it. The properties of Sheffley is that it's a medium weight, high breathability, water absorbent and it's also cool in the summer. The recent applications of Sheffley fabric that we have seen around 2020 are that it's made into dresses, blouses, skirts as well as kids wear. The proposed seams for Sheffley fabric is a 5 thread overlock or safety stitch. Last but not the least, let's talk about satin. Satin refers to weave of fabric rather than the material itself. It typically has a glossy surface and a dull back. The pros are that it's a very versatile fabric. The fabric feels really soft, silky to the skin, which, it, which is why it makes such a popular choice for bed sheets and lingerie. Satin's made from pure silk, which is 100% natural. The cons of satin are that it's difficult to sew within as it's glossy and can slip around in a sewing machine. It requires special treatment and cannot be just thrown into the washing machine. It's not shiny on both sides. There is a glossy side and a dull side, which also limits the design of using the fabric. The actual strength of the fabric is low and yarn distortion is easy. The proposed seam for satin is a single needle lock stitch and three thread overlock. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share.